What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Polk, and yes, we're back! Finally! Here we are in 2023. We're doing more of these pitch video breakdowns. Yes, I'll be doing them regularly moving forward. And what better way to kick it off with Yuri Perez going for the Miami Marlins? Yes, this 20-year-old made his MLB debut, and there's a lot of hype surrounding him, but if you don't know who he is, what does he do? We're gonna watch the second inning today of Yuri Perez from his MLB debut. And it's fun. So he throws 99 miles per hour fastballs. He tries to dot the edges with that. He's got curveballs that come off at about 81 or so. Um, not the best command, but he does keep them down for the most part. You have sliders. These are at 87 to 89. And have, they're more like gradual guys. They aren't the big sweeping ones that we've seen from other ones. And he does have a changeup that kind of comes in like that, but it's not really the thing that's here. But the thing that we're excited about. I would say my, my favorite trait, I watched this one of course, is Yuri Perez's ability to dot fastballs. And we're gonna watch it here, of course. So let, let's get to it. Let, let's let's watch some Yuri Perez. Top pitching prospect gets the call and that's really nice. That's a first follow. pitch curveball. Uh, establishing strikes, especially in your debut, is a wonderful thing. You need them. Get ahead. That's the first pitch of the second inning. And if we don't even see another curveball this entire bat, that's really nice. Here's Senzel getting his first look at Yuri Perez. He sees 80 miles per hour. He's just kind of looking for a fastball, waiting to see that. Walk see what in we the get. first inning for Perez. And look at that. He's actually timed for that fastball. And you actually can see from that, that take of that curveball at 80 miles per hour that, yeah, he doesn't want to swing in an off-speed pitch. He wants to swing into fastball. So at 0-1, he can attack him with a, a slider that's way out of the zone. But Senzel thinks it's going to be a fastball that lands in the zone. So this pitch actually comes from here all the way down, which is pretty dang cool. You know, that, that's that's a good tell at how good this, uh, so at least at the breaker breaking is in ball. that looked, situation. Uh, is to uh, him, what there's, he felt there's was a his best. Over. They can throw a spotted fastball. No, another yeah, so slider. Doesn't give him a single fastball. And the thing that I'm telling you that's really good about Yuri Perez, we haven't seen yet. Look at that. Oh, way out of the zone. That's exactly what you want to do in an 0-2 pitch. You want to make it start over here in the middle and then come off the plate. Uh, let's see how good I did that. Was his best. Oh yeah, killed it! <laughs> I still got it! I still got it, all right. Uh, here and we so go, let's to the next batter. There's Henry Ramos. So we have a lefty up, maybe we'll see some change-ups. Now we see another curveball, he's trying to do the first pitch curveball. Not the thing, that's all right. One pitch. Away. And there it is in 90. Let's watch it one more Henry time here. Ramos. 90 miles per hour coming in from Perez. Yep, sorry, that's the that's the curveball. It's on the 1 0 pitch. It's fouled it dotted away. down and away. It. I don't know if that's his intention. I think he was actually trying to get that just inside. He said that it's also he had a good look at 90 miles per hour from Perez. On one count. And he tries to go with a change, which you normally would see uh, against lefties, right? This is a big difference between him and Alcantara. He does have a 93 mile per hour change. We do see it in the game. But it's not the premier uh, attack like it is with Alcantara. You see like games of like 30% changeups, 30, 40% from Alcantara. For Perez, it's about five, six, something like that. And I imagine over time it will come into itself. It's kind of crazy all of these Marlins pitchers throwing like 91, 92 mile per hour changeups. Eric Cabrera. Go also versus when to Sanchez guide him. But Jacob mentioned it's, that luck. It's so really important. And so you're two one. With probably see a fastball here. Stallings, it's been important. And there's a 98 inside. So you can actually kind of see the glove that. here is set up kind of just middle, just throw it over the plate, which I don't necessarily love. Give me as a pitcher, I want to see is it going to be away? Is it going to be here? Is it there? There. Which of the four edges am I going for essentially? Sometimes you want to really go more for the corners. Just give me four edges, and this just feels like, eh, just get it over. Of knowing um, when good job by Ramos. Oh, this is the previous one. So good important. job by Ramos. Same Clearly thing with well. Sandy. Yeah, same thing. Uh, Jacob Stallings, it's been important. Yeah, good good job by Ramos getting around that, but it's not really the best pitch. So fine, you Will have Myers. a righty up. Well, Myers, and what does he see? He's 98 down the pipe. And that, I mean, that looks good, right? Um, I checked this later. It does not have cut action to it, which is wonderful. Good amount of rise. We don't really see Perez go upstairs too often in this game. Uh, and when he does, it doesn't really have the most success. But I feel like that is something actually we've seen from other Marlins pitchers. Jesus Lazardo does that now. Sandy Alcantara leans into that now. Um, that I think over time, Perez could develop that trait. And considering he does look like he has a fastball shape that would excel up. Um, we might be seeing that from time to time. But like 
he's he's really working the edges on this. We don't see a sinker with the um, at all from solid this game. So, also that pitch tells us we're gonna restart this one. Uh, that pitch tells us that Will Myers was looking for a secondary pitch. So you could probably see with the fastball. five solid innings tonight. And who knows, maybe oh, get a six. Never mind. I'll just throw an 89 mile per hour slider that has it looks a little bit more like the cutter than the 86 one that was in the dirt swung at earlier in this game. But oh man. I mean if Ferris can hit that all the time down and away, like that's at 98 and then 89. And that that's a huge deal too. You know, we see 87, 89 mile per hour sliders, yes, but we don't really see it paired with 98. We see it paired with like 94, 95. That that velocity gap makes the whiff ability even higher because not only do they need to hold back their bat longer, but also with the movement, right? There's two elements here at play. Really, really nice. Myers, oh, two. Goes, that Overthrows that. That's going to be another slider. And it just, no. Absolutely not. So, one, two. What are you going to do here? Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's a terrible pitch. So, I mean, he gets the out. Short. And Wendell goes to the third. They've got, got Ramos hung up. Ramos. Actually, so out here. A rise. It's the equivalent of a and strikeout. They get Ramos and Ramos signing up the second, down, right? But this is a this is a slider One that you want down and away. Two strikes, and it's just it's a meatball, and you can see that Myers is on his front foot, and that's why he rolls over it. If he's expecting a slider, this could legitimately be out of the park. So it was the right pitch call. He just didn't execute it. Position in essence. But hey, I'm glad he got it now. That's fine. It. Um, fastball 97. Mm. Yeah, it's it's YM lock. You know, it's middle, right? But it's on the edge. And you challenge them. Also, it's a way getting that whiff. You see more whiffs uh, inside than you do away. Why is that? Because the bat uh, has more time away to catch up to the ball. And to see a still a whiff on that, I mean, you just... You a replay so we get it again, right. Right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, a better one. Like a little bit lower, a little bit more on the edge. Like just. Oh. Man, now you have Fairchild dead, right? Cause like you can throw a slider off of this, and there's no way. Perez with the 0-2. Like, yeah. Great. Done. Curveball down 81. I mean, that's a curve, not even a slider. And that's that's a really good look at Yuri Perez, right? You saw the fastball on the edges. You saw the breaking balls. Like, there's a little bit, I think, with those breakers, a little bit of extra polish left to be added. Uh, I, I wonder if he will add a sinker um, at that velocity, which I think could be really great. He'll maybe learn the one from Alcantara. Uh, I don't know. I'm curious to see how that plans out, uh, pans out. And against lefties, the slider and curve not as effective, and the changeup wasn't really there. So as you saw that, of course, that single, the two home runs he allowed were fastballs. Um, I wonder if having that changeup is really that next step for Perez. But this is exciting. I mean, this is a guy with a pretty great complete package already. And there's just ways for him to take even more steps further. I'm so excited. I'm sure I'm going to have Perez back on this channel in the future. Uh, it's a fun day for Marlins fans. It's a fun day for baseball fans. And we're back. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be having these a ton. You don't want to miss any of these. But that's it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. And may your bats be low and your strikeout time.